What's going on guys, it's your boy JB and welcome to week number 19 of the Chris Sane 100k challenge. As you can see on the screen, it's Friday, May 7th. Hope everybody had a phenomenal week. And I haven't did this in a minute, simply because a lot of people quit and fell off this 100k challenge. I mean, I, I get it, you know, um, the plays are, are, are looking a bit dismal as of late, but nevertheless, um, I feel like you gotta stick through it if you started this thing. But uh, special shout out to Hope MHK. He's doing his thing. Uh, proud of you, bro, for, for sticking it out. Um, you've been posting every week. And um, I'm just here to support you any way I can. Anybody else that's doing it. But um, yeah, guys, check out his channel. Show him a little love. Um, he's doing his thing too as well. Again, check out where he's at and where I'm at and where you're at as well. That way you can kind of gauge um, if everybody's flat, who's who's up and, who, and who's not. So, um, but again, a uh, quick shout out to you, uh, Hope MHK. He didn't tell me to do this, but um, I just found him scrolling through YouTube and uh, great work. But with that being said, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into my tracker. So here we are guys inside my tracker. As you can see, your boy is down 25.8% in this portfolio and Again, it's the same plays that are down, have been down for the past two to three months. APXT, uh, CCL, I, I sold, so you can't count that one. Uh, Future Fintech, GNOG, Hylion is down, Neo, Tattoo Chef, and Workhorse, they're all down. Um, probably just like everybody else's. So just try to stay patient and, and hopefully everything starts turning in the next two to three weeks. Uh, in terms of transactions, I did not add any more plays um, this week to my portfolio. And going to options, I tried to kill my Nano, but it wouldn't let me, wouldn't kick, wouldn't let me kick out of it. So um, I'm gonna try again Monday, see if I can get out of it, and then just call that out of the day on that one. Uh, deposits, I did not deposit any more money. So, so far in this challenge, I've deposited $6,050. Um, if you've been following me on this journey, you know I show like my transfers from my bank account to my Robinhood account for full transparency. That way there's no funny business. But um, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the app. All right, guys, here we are inside my app. As you can see, your boy is sitting at $10,137.29. Uh, for the past week, I'm up 1.42%. And... Just to go back over what Chris was saying in terms of dividend plays, uh, mine weren't really that impacted that much over the past, I wanna say two to three months. So as you can see, again, this is not part of his challenge. He did not pick these plays. These are mine that I had before this whole thing started. Just FYI. But uh, going into Crestwood equity. So for the past three months, I've actually been up 43% on this play and um, I think I told you guys before I might be putting more money into this um, as this thing <laughs> starts to turn I'll start dumping more money into the other things but um, but yeah again as you were saying before dividend plays they're almost they're almost going unscathed through this whole entire uh, downturn um, so this is proof in the pudding that yeah he's right about that um, but again I'm not telling you guys to get grab this I'm just saying like based on what he said that's so far so good on this one so um, going back to my portfolio uh, yeah the 10,141.91 I think the majority of that too not well I can't say the, the majority but um, this uptrend that it's going on is partly because of Dogecoin and I'll show you where that's at here in a minute but um, I'm gonna go through my heavy hitters and just to show you how they did for the week so Going to GNOG first. So GNOG for the week. Uh, your boy is down 10.49%. Uh, total return is down 20%. See APXT for the week. Your boy is down 5.58%. Total return down exactly 32%. T 
tattooed shelf. <clears throat> See tattooed shelf for the week down 1.29 percent. Total return I'm down 30.14 percent. And future fintech for the week down 15.79 percent. Total return I'm down 43.05 percent. And then going to Dogecoin. So show you where you guys um, at on that. Um, I'm up 22 point, about 23% today. That keeps bouncing back and forth. But uh, for the week, I'm up over 100%. And then total return, um, 1300 over 1300 percent return on Doge. But I have like no idea uh, where this is supposed to hit. If you guys know what this is supposed to hit at, like let me know down below. Cause I hear a dollar, I hear $10. I mean, it's all over the board. So if you guys do know or have an, a, a good idea of where it's gonna land at, hit your boy up. And uh, one other thing I wanted to guys, I wanted to show you guys is, um, again, I try to get out of Nano. And I'll show you here in a second where I try to get out of it. But, um, it canceled it and so I'm still in the option place so hopefully I, I can get out of this thing on Monday but just to show you my cash um, recent history again try to get out of it wouldn't let me so hopefully next week will um, it will let me do that so again last deposit for my checking account is April 30th I did not again like I said before I did not deposit any money into my account this week and um, yeah, that's all I have. Yeah, that's all I have for um, this video. If you made it this far, give your boy a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell while you're at it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.